Oh, ladies and gentlemen, then we have the Pillow Talk Times, which is from Char Charlotte Tilbury, ladies and gentlemen, a woman with a very, very vivid imagination. And uh, we have her Pillow Talk Times, uh, which was written while she was locked up in a padded cell, uh, suffering from rather strange kind of, you know, sense of, you know, uh, of her being important in the world. Apparently, she says that her pillow talk mania is taking over the world. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Pillow talk mania? That's just a, color, a, a name that they're calling a shade of lipstick. They're calling it pillow talk. As if your pillow talk, you're going in there, you're looking for a better pillow talk? You've got it already? Oh, really? Oh, you've got such great pillow talk, have you? Really? I mean, it's not like your pillow talk's going to be enhanced by a particular shade. They've got pillow talk original, pillow talk medium, and pillow talk intense. What a load of old rubbish. What are you talking about? It's just three shades of some makeup. Pretendy. It's just all pretendy. She's mad, this woman, Charlotte Tilbury. She says here in the article, calling all pillow talkers, Charlotte Tilbury award-winning, record-breaking, global phenomenon, pillow talk, global phenomenon? It's a lipstick. It's not a global phenomenon. Coronavirus, now that's a global phenomenon, not Charlotte Tilbury. It's the iconic pillow talk shade dialed up for every mood. What are you talking about? No, it's not. It's just some flipping lip lipstick, isn't it? Uh, well, any shade though. It's you at your best. Ladies, what Charlotte Tilbury is actually telling you all, that unless you have her lipstick on, you're not going to be at your best. That's what she's really saying, isn't it? Silly woman. You're fine as you are with your lipstick or without your lipstick. What's that got to do with being at your best? Your best what? From gorgeous, glowing, beauty light ones to the award-winning nudie pink lip dialed up. Nudie pink. <laughs> They've created a colour called nudie pink. Your lips are nude. Most people's lips are nude, aren't they? What's nudie pink? What on earth is Charlotte Tilbury doing here? I mean, seriously, this woman should be and probably has been locked up. She's absolutely back crazy. Okay, where are we going now? Um, loved by supermodels and stars, really. Yeah, right, great. Well, they're a great bunch of people to follow, aren't they? Supermodels and stars. Loved by them. The original universally flattering. Come on, get out of here. What do you mean universally flattering? That can't be, can't be true. Can't be universal. Some of these people here, this stuff is not going to make any difference, even if... Some of them put, are you going in? That'll teach me. Go on, you, you go in and get something you need to be at your best. Because Charlotte Tilbury knows all about being at your best. Anyway, she's making up this stuff, I tell you, you couldn't make it up. Nude pink lip cheat and matte revolution lipstick. Lip cheat? What's that? What exactly, people that work there, what is lip cheat? What are you doing with that? What is, what is going on here? You, I can try it on? All right then, go on. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, they've got lip cheat here. What does that mean? People in the crowd, what does lip cheat mean? Anybody, madam, do you know? No? Apparently, Charlotte Tilbury says it's something that you need. We have some lip cheat here. Thank you. How's my lips? You think I can cheat with these? Lip cheat, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, we're listening here to Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Times, which, I, as far as I know, was written from her cell. They locked her up, and she started coming out with this stuff. And rightly so. She sounds like she's a bit of a danger to herself. Uh, anyway, um, has won a legion of fans. Ladies and gentlemen, she's wrote this about her own product.
she's written that her own product has won legions of fans. Who is a fan of a bit of lipstick? Who's so, I mean, is there anyone here really, really enthusiastic about lipstick? That's prepared to, to you know, admit it? She's made this up. She's just made all this rubbish up. She says to get a couple of colours. She called them in names. Intense. What are you talking about? It's just a load of gibberish. She's nuts. Anyway, Legion of Fans for its magical, in capital letters, ability to reshape and resize the appearance of lips, ladies and gentlemen. A colour unique to Charlotte. She used to mix multiple shades by hand backstage, on the red carpets, on the runways, and at the magazine cover shoots. Wow! To get the perfect beauty enhancing pillowy pink hue. My goodness, you've written a lot, haven't you, Charlotte? About what's essentially just a shade of lipstick. Why, why are you concerned? I don't understand what's... Why is it bothering you so much? Um, I don't know if it's bothering me so well, much. Well, it must be bothering you. You've come out here with a microphone and you're standing up to it, so it must be bothering you a little bit. Well, I don't, I don't kind of let it bother me. I, the way I deal with the bother, it, well, I suppose on some level it bothers yeah, it me. Cause be. It's, cause yeah, it's you want me shouting out. Well, it's quite insulting, really, to, to the human kind yeah, and to I'm women. Like, and to, It's just Yeah, but then no, you say that, it's just but bullshit, you have to nastiness. let women decide whether or not it's... it's no, I don't. Why? Because I can decide. I, I think it's bullshit to everybody. And yeah, but, even more to women. Yeah, but we, well, we, we don't mind it. Yeah, but, that's fine. You don't mind it's a bit it. Unfair. But then you... Why are you talking about all the other people? I do. I take them all apart. Oh, do you? Oh, yes. All but of them. But why then? Must have something. There must be something deeper. Well, why not? I can see you're wearing pink lipstick. Is it because. They just put that on. Oh, did they? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, you wanted a free pink lipstick. No, no, no. Success. No, no. <laughs> I dare you wear that. I've never worn any lipstick Hold before. Can you not see the irony here? Of course, you're obviously. You're standing here. Obviously, that's basically... not, I feel so funny about yeah, it. Yeah, but now you're wearing it. Yes, I understand that. Because they said, do you want something? I'll give it a try. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't need to.